Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> Now when I asked you guys to send me topics to talk about, some of you guys sent me some weird shit. <laughs> Talking about a monkey that fucked himself in the asshole. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into this. Now for those of you who don't know, recently there has been a $140 million settlement for the kids who were forced to eat semen cookies by their teacher. No, that's right, you heard me right. Semen cookies is one. <laughs> now how did he get caught, you ask? Well in 2012, a pharmacy employee called the cops when the teacher brought him bondage style photos of children for them to develop. So let me get this straight, not only are you a sick freak, you dumb as shit. You're telling me right now that you could not develop those photos somewhere else besides your local Rite Aid? <laughs> and why you gotta develop them in the first place? It is 2014, leave that shit on your iPad, bitch, damn. How are you going to print physical evidence of your sick ass crime and wonder how you got caught. That's like robbing a house and leaving a semen trail on the doorstep. Well, how do you know it's him? See that? Cum drops. You know what the sad thing about all this is? That throughout the early 90s, this man was accused of masturbating in front of the children multiple times, but the district decided to ignore it. Okay, let's be real for a second. How do you ignore kids telling you that a saggy, bald old man was beating his dick like a soda machine with loose change. <laughs> now in the worst case scenario, let's say one of these kids was a habitual liar, but even if he or she was, don't you think that's some weird shit to lie about? Jimmy, how was school today? Well, no, the teacher was beating up while reading the alphabet. How the fuck you think my day went, mom? Well, shit. I would give them the benefit of the doubt. Now apparently there was even documented photos of kids eating chocolate chip cookies with slime on it. What? Now to me it seems like this is just another sad story of a bunch of people looking out for their jobs rather than the kids. Because according to multiple articles, when a parent tells you that they're going to do something about this and call the police, and your response is, please don't call the cops, it only further proof that you do not give two shits about these kids that are supposed to matter in your line of work. Did you somehow forget that when parents drop off their kids at the school, they do that expecting their kids to be safe. They actually entrust their children to the staff as their legal guardian and expect to do what's best for the kids while they are on campus. Now because nothing was done when it should have been dealt with, now we're at a lose-lose situation. Now of course lawyers aren't going to sue the individual, they're going to sue the school district for $140 million. $140 million on education gone, and now these kids are affected for the rest of their lives. Now after all this is said and done, the man was sentenced to about 25 years in prison, and at his age, that's basically for the rest of his life. Do I personally think that's fair? Hell no, what the fuck? Because in all honesty, I have to put myself in the shoes of those parents, or even the kids, and the punishment does not fit the crime. Now I'm not sure if this is legal, but every day he should be forced to drink a bucket of hippo semen with some dry ass cookies and no goddamn milk. That's right, shit just got real, motherfucker. Oh, what is going on, YouTube? Nice to nice to know ya, know ya. Yes, I'm back for this Sunday. I almost missed this video, but I got my ass back from Hawaii, and the moment I came back, I started working, working, working. But remember, every Sunday there's going to be a video, and during the week I'm going to sprinkle a few videos here and there too, so stay tuned for that. Always check your YouTube for my updates, because I'm gonna be posting. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on, what's that other one? No, actually Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, and some other stuff too if you see me there. Follow, follow, follow. But I will see you guys next Sunday, and you guys will see a maybe a funny fat fit. Maybe you guys might see some other vlogs. Check it out. Stay tuned. I will see y'all later. Ba, 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 ba. Boom. Box. Fuck pants. Oh shit, forgot to turn. Close this window. Don't want to disturb the peace. It only further proves that you do not give two shits about these kids that are 